Hello guys, today's video is about graphics card and uh, this is old graphics card but I'm gonna speak about thermal paste on the graphics card and and mainly I mean on new graphics card but this is just gonna be example about thermal paste on the graphics card uh, why? because I have I had more of these graphics card. They got good quality thermal paste. I don't know. They are probably yeah, six, seven years old, maybe more. It's hard to say. But yeah, I did assemble a few and replaced the graphics uh, thermal paste. It didn't help. The temperature didn't change at all. The quality on this graphics card, uh, quality of thermal paste is is really good in my opinion, like they, they weren't dry at all of course these graphics cards were, were used for gaming, not for mining or for, but obviously this card definitely needs to replace thermal paste, it's running it's running about 81, 82 degree at the moment this, this case is not really good, you see that is small space for intake but it's basically open case uh, as you can see it's running like 81 82 but I had the same graphics card which was worse it was running up to 80 83 probably so uh, we're running this card for I don't know 10 minutes at least so graphics card uh, which I had before and I disassemble as you can see I mess up this little bit but as you can see these patches here here I messed this up a little bit already but these patches there were no contact were no thermal paste between chip and cooler as you can see it can be probably I don't know five percent maybe not but obviously the way the MSI put the heatsink on they put some air bubble which just stuck here and uh, there were no contact so obviously these places are overheating which is not good for graphics card the temperature definitely higher and as I said I had 770 original thermal paste I replaced it and nothing's changed so I will show you heatsink as well the heatsink what is the heatsink heatsink was amazing condition I don't know if somebody blow the air out but it looks amazing there nothing like it wasn't overheating or running high temperatures you, you see the liquid here but we have a closer look here the patches they were here 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 dry 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 no contact at all so with that being said this graphics car wasn't good from the beginning it came from the from the factory the thermal paste wasn't in good condition what I did I just I just uh, covered those patches a little bit and, and uh, I didn't really replace the thermal paste when I was testing this and it gave me about probably that card was running 83 84 so it gave me like 7 degree difference and I guess it should run somewhere like 770 or running 71 so yeah if if I replace the thermal paste properly it will probably help 10 degrees or like that so you can leave with it it's gonna run the fans gonna run faster and uh, we have 50 at the moment 
person, but that one was running 60 person, 65. So it was definitely a little bit more noisy and it wasn't good for the chip. So what's the point? The point is nothing to do with MSI. I would say bit quality on this card is really good. Thermal page is really good, but the way they put it on wasn't good. So if you buy graphics card, check the temperature, go on YouTube, compare your temperature. And if it is not what it should be, like temperatures in open case, just change the thermal face or replay uh, replace the card, go to the shop, ask them to replace, that's gonna be headache, whatever you want to return, nowadays it's headache, so that's that's my point, and I would say probably one out of ten cards can be like this, that's what it is, in new things, one out of ten new things is faulty, out of the, sh out of the box, so so this is my advice from this video, you buy card, check the temperature, uh, and I, I have to say, even these cards, you know, these cards, I don't know, 770 will perform like 1050 Ti, and if you got small 1050 Ti, small pump, it will be way more noisier than this card build quality was way better here they will probably last way more even if, if they have twice as much power consumption but yeah in these days where graphics cards are not available and these graphics cards are able to play I don't know like good for 140 forehead monitor if you play game like Fortnite if you're not, if you're not a professional player of course you will get 130 FPS Pro settings are 11, so it's amazing. It, it looks great. So for the money they they cost, they are still by worth the cards, uh, and they are twice as cheap as I don't know 1050 or 1050 Ti. So they are still worth it. They're good graphics card, but generally about every graphics card, check your thermal face. Uh, if you are suspicious and if you think temperatures are way too high, like 82 for this quality card, it's it's high. It's I, I haven't seen good quality card which will run over 80. They usually set 70, 75 or something like that. Uh, and that's all. That's all from me today. Uh, I would probably add the same can happen because the system is the same the system like this you know, on the laptops the same can happen with laptop processor they can be in this condition and they can have they can already so you get no noisy laptop or whatever compare with other people check it it's probably worth it if you got older laptop and if it is not that difficult, if you got, if you got a like, good quality or laptop, it's usually easy to replace. Because you have to disassemble everything, but it's worth it to do because you got lots of dust. And these things, these old things, last really. If you are lucky, they're gonna last forever. And you don't need to be that lucky. You need to be unlucky. These old things, which if you take good care of it, they just last. It's like with old cars. You get a good old car and you take care of it. It's gonna last. Okay, so this was about thermal paste. Thanks for watching and I hope it, it helps somebody. Uh, good luck guys. Have a nice day.